Hi again, everyone. Today we're going to look at a problem from Laplace transforms. Okay, now Laplace transforms are used in applied mathematics and engineering to solve ordinary differential equations with discontinuities. Okay, now up here, this is the notation we use for the Laplace transform of a function of t, little f of t, right? And it's an integral transform. You can see that we take little f of t, multiply by this exponential function, and then integrate over this half line. Now, notice here the t is the dummy variable, okay? So, so um, it, it disappears after we do any integrations. Now, the s here is the real var variable, though. It's the independent variable, right? So you can think of this as being a function of s, big F of s. So the notation we generally use is little f of t is some function of t, and the capital, big F of s, is the Laplace transform of little f. OK, so we're asked to show that the Laplace transform of t times a function of t is negative big F dash of s. So how do we do that? Well, the basic idea is to take this, differentiate both sides with respect to s, and then rearrange. Now, at the heart of the method is an idea called Leibniz's rule. Okay, and Leibniz's rule allows us to differentiate under the integral sign. So, let's start with this and differentiate both sides, okay? This and this. Right, so we differentiate here. So um, we're going to get df ds, which I'm going to denote by f dash of s, equals the derivative of this integral. OK, so we want to work on this. And Leibniz's rule allows us to move this inside the integral sign, and you change the straight d's to curly d's. So, so here I've, I've pushed this inside, changed the straight d's to curly d's. Why? Because this is a function of two variables, s and t. All right, so here I've used the so-called oh, Leibniz rule. Okay, so all that really remains now is to take this derivative, okay? So because we're differentiating with respect to s, partially, a minus t will come to the front and the rest will be unchanged. Okay, so now if we rearrange this, okay, I can pull that minus sign out the front and put the t over here. All right, what do we have? Well, the only difference between this and this is that we have t f of t. So this must be the Laplace transform of t f of t. Don't forget the minus sign out here. Okay. All 
All right, so what have we proved there? We've proved that f, big F dash of s equals the minus of the Laplace transform of t, lit, t times little f of t. Okay, so we just pull the minus sign, put it up here, and we get exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so this example, it really highlights where Leibniz rule comes in handy. Why would you want to differentiate an integral sign? Well, here's a good example. Okay, now where can this be actually used when you're calculating transforms? Well, you might want to take the transform, the Laplace transform of t times sine of t. So here your little f of t would be sine of t. What you would do is work out the transform of sine t, take the derivative, and then put a minus sign in there. Okay? So um, the Laplace transform of sine t is 1 on s squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so this is a function of s. So f dash of s is going to be minus 2s over s squared plus 1, all squared. So to apply this, the Laplace transform of this will be, well, just add a minus sign in here. Okay, so that's a good example of where this identity can be used in calculating Laplace transforms.